Buds, my name is the Mr. Jubito, and welcome to Be another careful. LGBA, this time in the dual lane as requested, and, and on the role of support, because I play this role a lot, because, you know, insta-lockers for the win, um, you know, <laughs> people call other roles uh, real quick as well, so that's a thing. Um, so as I said in the last LGBA, this and jungling are, in my opinion, one of the harder roles to get into because there's so many aspects uh, to doing this role. It's not just staying in the lane and, you know, farming and then get to the mid game and then do team fights and stuff. There's so many more things that you have to be aware of. Um, you know, you have to be a good shot caller, you have to be a good decision maker, you have to be, you know, great in team fights like if you're if you're not doing um you know your role in team fights if you're not doing things such as zoning or maybe just initiating in general which you should be doing as a support you know if you're a tanky support uh which is the current meta you know tanky or supports just because you need a front line uh then you know you're not going to be a very good support but first of all let's actually talk about Sorry. the build that you kind of want to do. Okay. It's, it's very situational yeah. though, because with so many different team comps, you know, you may want, like, say, there's a Hell, an Aphrodite, and a Raw on the enemy team, which be would be kind of crazy, but it's not, like, too obscure um, yeah. or weird at all. You probably want to get a Pestilence, whereas if you get somebody like, uh, if you get an enemy team like a Poseidon, a Mir, or, you know, a Poseidon Amir and a Geb against you, Retreat you probably want to go something, like, not beads, because, you know, your active slots are going to be stuff that are more team-oriented. So you, you might want to go, like, a Magi's Blessing. Um, but, you know, your first... the Your starting build uh, that, you know, works out for me is... Uh, there's two ways that I that uh, I've been experimenting with so you can try them out and see what you like or you can find something else but what works for me is Watcher's Attack. Gift, Attack. Boots 1, uh, Hands of the Gods 1, 1 Ward and then 1 Multipot or you can go Watcher's Gift, Hands nice of the Gods job. 1, uh, 2 Wards and then 5 Multipots uh, that Be works right good back. for sustain and like uh, staying out in uh, the lane instead of having going back to base a lot so that one's a uh, that one's a pretty good one too there's also I, I guess there's actually three there's there's one more build that i've been working with that kind of works as well which is watcher's gift then uh level two hands of the gods which i think it's called wrath of the gods or maybe rage of the gods i'm not sure and then you get um, you're able to get one ward and then one multi-pot so those are the three variations of starts that I usually do and that I've been working with uh, they all work very well and each has their own strengths the one with the five multi pots you know you have a lot of sustain the one with the level two hands of the gods or hog uh, as I usually call it that one has more jungle clear and mid camp securing potential uh, the one with the boots uh, with level 1 boots, that helps you so that you can get your uh, your pref preferred boots um, faster. And so it just depends on how you want to play. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about is with uh, with item builds is um, the type of boots that you want to get. Now, if you're going to be new to jungling, or I mean, no, no, no. If you're going to be new to support, you more often than not want to go for the Midas Boots. And the Midas Boots, they Your give you uh, increased gold per 5, which is great, because you're going to be roaming a rot, uh, a rot. What am I What am I even saying? You're going to be roaming a lot from the mid lane and the dual lane. You're going to kind of sometimes help support or the, the solo lane, but not really, because it's all the way across to the other side of the map. Uh, but yeah, mid and dual lane, you're going to be roaming between that jungle um, whichever side you're on, Chaos or Order, uh, you're going to be doing a lot of roaming. Um, yes, you're going to be staying in lane. You're going to be staying in lane much more than the jungler is. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, Midas Boots is a good start if you're kind of new to support. You can also do um, a cooldown boot. 
so that way you have you can cast more abilities although you are if you don't have a big mana pool you're gonna run out of mana fast anyway or you can go um the penetration boots if you want to do more damage and you know like have better early game it's gonna fall off late game um because you know your damage is gonna be minuscule minuscule anyway um but you know it's it's also a viable spot it start it depends on how you're feeling and how confident you are in your uh your play as a support so yeah Midas boots is my recommended uh going into that and then the second item that i recommend is magi's blessing one it's i, I believe it's 2150 gold which is very very cheap especially once you like finish your Midas boots and um so which or like uh or like stuck in cc so that way you can throw out your CC um, to counter initiate or um, you know to keep uh, enemies off your allies and so on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for builds. And uh, yeah, remember my disputes is is really good and uh, really good for any you know any level of support that you are or like any amount of experience that you are with support i i pick it up here just because i'm gonna be running uh, a little bit more than uh than previous support uh games that i've played i believe in this game yeah and here i pick up the magic blessing because they have an amir stun they have the zeus three detonate if you get the three charges you have the Euler axe you have the fenrir uh, ulti and the Fenrir jump, and um, no, I I don't think it stops the the raw blind. Uh, but you know, you see with all their CC there, that's why I usually pick up Magi's blessing anyway, because you know you, you're gonna you might run into like heavy CC comps. Um, but yeah, so Midas boots and and Magi's blessing are pretty good items to pick up uh, since they're kind of cheap ish. Ish kind of ish. My dispute's not really. So now let's talk nice about some job. different aspects of support. As I said, you're going to be rotating to these mid camps. Uh, if you're a good support, you're going to rotate to them every time the jungler and the mid uh, laner are, you know, rotate for them because you want to secure them because they're going to give either get your team ahead or they're going to keep your team even with the enemy team okay as, as long as you get one of those mid camps doesn't mean like one you know one of the, the harpies if you get like one full thing which is the two harpies there you're you're gonna be in good shape um you know decent shape or better shape than the enemy team okay which is why um you know people like sun wukong and um people like geb or gods like geb and sun wukong that's why they're more uh, they're more contested and more banned uh, in competitive play because they have the mobility. You know, Geb has the rollout to get to the mid camps quick. Zen Wukong has his 72 transformations and the bird to get over to the mid camps really quickly. Um, so mil mobility is also a big aspect of the support role. Not not like crazy crazy good, but uh, you know that's why people like Zen Wukong and Geb are so highly contested in the mid game or in in the tournament play because you need that mobility to secure the mid camps you need that mobility to get to your team if you know they're in the middle of a fight and all that stuff so choosing your god is also you know is also part of that battle whenever you're whenever you're playing support you want to get something that will help your team out a lot whether it's good cc like a Bacchus. Bacchus has amazing CC, a knockup, a stun, and then the Intoxicate is just mad, mad good CC. It's like hella good. Um, people like Geb with his knockup. The shield is amazing, so you can save people. And then his Cataclysm, which is his ultimate, which is the good stun and percentage of health. You see right here. I, I noticed that the the mid camps are coming up. Thank goodness, like I, I've been enjoying the mid camp timers because I I can focus more on uh, either poking down or like defending my uh, hunter. So mid camp timers were pretty cool, uh, pretty cool idea that they implemented. Um, so yeah, you saw there. I was able to get those mid camps easily, and uh, you know you can see that we're gonna we're we're starting to. Kind of inch ahead in gold, as well as you know our levels are getting a little bit uh, higher than the enemies. Another part of 
support that is really, really important is initiation and counter initiation. Since you're the front line, you're most likely the front line, which is you know a tank or something. You're gonna you're gonna be, um, as I said, a shot caller. You you're the one who sets up the fight, um, you know, for failure or for success. Uh, so you know things like having a blink on Geb or maybe a blink on Amir and then you know ulting or something like that. Um, you gotta make good decisions on whether on like a. On like when to initiate, you know, like with Geb, you know, you you generally wait till the enemy team is like all grouped up so you can get like a good cataclysm, and that pretty much sets up the whole team fight in your favor because you know your team throws out their their damage and the CC and all that jazz, and so knowing when to when to initiate is a is a big big part of support. Um, you know, you are shading, but, um, you know, if you can't see a good opening, like, if you can't catch someone out, don't, don't initiate, because you're probably just going to throw your life away, and your team isn't going to find anything off of it. Uh, they might die, too, you know, if, if, uh, the enemy support gets a good initiate on you. Another part of, of support is, um what is called zoning, you know, in team fights, it's a huge thing. Zoning is just, you know, for example, if the enemy Amir ran in, blinked and froze my enemy, or my allies, I would pretty much do the same thing. I would, um, I would actually go into the enemy team and just have them focus on me and, uh, pay me attention instead, uh, of them focusing on you know, my carry, or my mage, or my solo laner, or my jungler. And that way, that way, you know, they don't take too much damage, and they're able to deal damage instead of having to retreat, or instead of having to, instead of having to, you know, just die, and, you know, not do anything in the fight. Because, um, yeah, a good support, a good support will do that. They will, they will make sure that, they thrust themselves out into into the fray, so you can't be afraid. You can't can't be afraid at all as a support. You have to be willing to give up your life for your teammates. You know, if you're able to, if you're able to sacrifice your life for them, for for like your country to get out, and uh, do it. If you're able to body block shots, even though you're gonna die. Um, but your mage can get out safely. Do it. It's it's support is one of the mo the it is you the selfless the most selfless role in you know mobas in general. So um, you need to go into the mindset of you know if I don't need to die, I don't die. But you know if my team is getting jumped on, I will you know I will be their shield. I am the shield. I am the front wall. I am. I am the unstoppable force, um, <laughs> as Amir said, I think, I am an unstoppable force or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure make sure you have that mindset of, of protector or guardian as, you know, the support role is so properly, or like, as you know, it's, it's so properly, appropriately named guardian because you are... You are the savior, you are the protector, um, you are the protector of your allies, so yeah. Let's see, what other aspects do we need? Let's see. Uh, another thing uh, about items, I, I, I said I was done, but uh, <laughs> there's, there's more things that we can talk about. Um, Item wise, you know, you're always gonna want to get Hog, which is, you know, Hands of the Gods, and you're gonna rank it up to, I think it's called Rage of the Gods, is the last level of that, because you're gonna be, you're an objective master. That's another aspect that, uh, you know, many, many supports don't understand, or many, like, new supports anyway. Uh, you are the objective master. So that means getting the Gold Fury, 
getting the fire giant, telling your team to group up so that they can take a tower, or split push and stall so that, you know, like maybe an Apollo goes and takes that left tower. You know, if we did have an Apollo, but we don't. We have a ruler, which is cool. Um, you see right here? Um, that could have been a bad situation right there because I didn't have hog 3, I think so. I don't think I have hog 3. Actually, no, it was the last gold fury attempt that we did, that we had. Or that we did, anyway. That I didn't have hog 2. Generally, um, hands of the gods, yeah, that's the most important part of the support role. As I've been saying. Uh, but you want to get level 3 hands of the gods before the fifth, uh, at around the 15 minute mark, because around, uh, you know, the time nearing the 20 minute mark, that's gonna be times where, like, you're gonna, you're gonna have a high enough level to contest for the fire giant, which, you know, once you get the fire giant, you can push in, get a tower, or two towers, or a phoenix, or, you know, even more phoenixes, or finish the game, and, um, which is why you need um, hands of gods up as soon as possible, but it's not not too soon. Remember, at least at least at the 15 minute mark. That is, it's a necessity, and uh, not a lot, not enough supports, uh, new supports, understand that. Because objectives are key when you're when you're um, you know you win other support and stuff. It's huge. And you want to boost your lead um, with getting objectives. You know, so that being said, that's where the shot caller part comes in. You need to make sure that you know if you get a kill off of somebody, you want to capitalize on that. Capitalize meaning you make it uh, a valuable kill and stuff. Um, oh, but that's all my time. Uh, okay, bye. If you enjoyed, leave a like and let me know which role you'd like to see next. Alright, see ya. Are you ready?